Hi guys, a very um, warm welcome to you on this spring day. It's a bit chilly outside, so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of some crafts. Now, have you ever had leftover napkins? What do you do with them? For example, I have this one here, and it's a case of what do I do with it other than just use it for wrapping up sandwiches or um, whatever else I need to, to do. So what I'm going to show you is um, a quick run through of what sort of things that I do with um, leftover napkins and um, it can be quite a nice little um, gift to give or, or a card because um, basically this is what we're going to be making today is like a greetings card or a, or a, a notelet or what have you. So to start with you need to... Um, do the take the back in layers off your napkin so that you are left with just the sink because this is three ply um so you need to take off two layers which means um that you're just left with a picture on the top once you've done that you have a piece you know or, or um it's quite thin a transparent you can see your hands through it so basically that is um, had the backing paper off of this piece. Now what I do then is because I've got some greeting card blanks um, from a previous project, I've cut out a piece of old watercolour paper which has gone a little bit yellowed and not suitable for purpose anymore. So what I've done is I've cut out a five, um, for a five by seven card but this is actually cut out at six and three quarters by th four and three quarters um so that i can um put um onto the face of of the blank card so what we have here then is the piece of card and what you need to do is to um just use some pva glue and wet the whole of the surface once this is done then you place on and you press on very carefully that this doesn't stick to your hand um, what i tend to do is i put a piece of plastic over and then i rub it smooth to make it sit down and adhere to the glue once this is done the pieces of tissue that I've taken off um, with regards to the backing, what I do is I actually will pick up, lay them like this, pick up the glued piece of card and pop that over so it covers the entire card to soak up any, any moisture and then I'll leave that whilst I continue with the rest of the project. So that's what I do, that's the, the first stages. Then the next stage is, is when you get your, your piece of already pre-glued um, card, is you trim the edges. So that it looks nice and clean and tidy and and it's um all neat on the edge all right this is still a little bit tacky because i've only done this shortly a, a short while ago uh, basically you've got your um card which is all ready to use so i'll just pop that back onto the book press once then that's dried you can then glue to your cardstock now basically all I've got is some like clear plain white cardstock I've put my little handmade with love label on the back so I know which side is the back and which is the front so then this is um, where I'm going to stick my card topper Move them another way, and this is one I've done earlier. So here we have it stuck onto the cardstock. It's a little bit um, damp still, so I just need to pop this in 
into um, the card press again. Now this can be used anyway because the vegetables are all over the place. It doesn't really matter which way around they go. So you could have this landscape or um, portrait. It's entirely up to you. Um, so basically I do the same with this as I did with the um, with the when I glued the serviette on to start with. Use the tissue stock just to cover the card and then I will pop that into my book press where I put a heavy weight on top and that will stay there until the morning um, because obviously I need that to be nice and flat and nice and dry. Once you've done that you can actually do any embellishments that you would like. So what I've done is I've actually made some Christmas cards here out of old um, serviettes and I edged the edge of the card, I can show you, edged the edge of the card with some foil um, adhesive ziggy zag lines on this particular one. And on this one is another serviette. So this is using a different type of um, edging line. And, and this is... Oh, this serviette has been in my Christmas box since, oh, probably for the last 15 years. It's just, I just use them as um, little mini tablecloths for a table or whatever, or, you know, to put on a sideboard. So, basically, these are the type cards. Um, I've also done some other ones which have got, um, you know, another type of serviette, but it's got, like, chain pattern on there. And some blue butterfly ones. This is just on there, so I know what they are. So, don't th ever throw away your old napkins. Make use of them. Make yourself a card. And, um, and as they're blank, you can use these for sending to a friend or relative. Um... As a notelet, just to, you know, write them a letter and say, hi, how are you doing? Thinking of you. Or you can use it as an actual birthday card. Hope you enjoyed this um, short video on um, how to use up your old serviettes. And uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, get creative. Bye. Hello guys, so what I'm going to do um, for you today is just give you a quick um, brief rundown of um, what I'm going to be making here. Um, sorry about the shadow, but my light is behind my trusty glue gun here. Okay, so I've got some old hoops that were part of a old wind chime, which I've actually covered in some brown wool, which I have. Um, basically just to use it up because it is just obsolete and nothing's going to be made from it. So I've covered the hoop itself. Then I have some, um, like a big sunflower, some little baby ones, some green foliage. Um, so I'm going to be making something with these. I'm probably going to do like a wall hanging, um, just something that can be put up. So what I will do is I'm going to um, attempt to put you somewhere or I'll come back in a sec while when I've done a, a little bit. Okay, so I've just got you uh, wedged up a little bit. So um, I have my ring and then I'm going to just decide where I'm going to put my foliage and flowers, etc. So um, to start with, I place my big one. So it's a big blodge of um, glue. And I've decided I'm going to stick that on the side slightly. So making sure that the Ring is sat, oops, sat in the glue. Don't worry about if it's a little bit messy on that one side because that will be covered. 
You can always reinforce with a little bit more glue if you want to make sure that it is completely secure. Okay, so that one I'm having on the side. Then I decide then where I want some foliage. And to start with, I just place it in to see where I think it's going to look the best. So, bearing in mind that it's going to hang this way. So, I decide if I want it at the top there. Coming out the side, maybe. And maybe another one coming out the side so that the petals are all on top. So basically what that's doing is it's framing that that one flower. So we're at that sort of shape right now. And then along the bottom here, I'm going to have my little trio of smaller ones. I'm going to go ahead and glue these and then I'll be back when these are glued on and then I'll show you where I'm going to put perhaps these um, ones just to fill in um, and then I can show you the finished product then. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and um, I've stuck the um, sunflowers onto the hoop um, with some foliage. So as you can see, you've got your main big flower in the middle um so you will be hanging it at this angle so you've got the smaller flowers and the big flower and then you've got the um, foliage coming up the top and then you'll be able to hang it you can either hang it with some ribbon or you can make a little chain um but yeah so that is the actual finished product and what i'll do is i'll take a photograph of one i've made before with the hanging chain on it and i'll post it on here just to show you um how it looks when it's actually hanging up against the wall but um yeah this is a good idea just to use up these um silk flowers that i got at a car boot sale um an old hoop from um a wind chime and some leftover wool that was going to waste so all you need a bit of time glue gun and um, some old ribbon or some old piece of chain or what have you to um place this onto um, all these items together to make a delightful little uh, wall hang in just to decorate for spring you can put it on your front door if you've got a sheltered door or you can just pop it in you know um, pop it up in a room somewhere which you know wants a bit of cheer so I've hoped you like this little extremely brief um, crafty video so uh, get crafty and we'll see you next time